Hi Yarnabees, it's Sandy. Thanks for joining me. Uh, welcome to all the new subscribers and welcome back to all my OGs. Um, today is a yucky, rainy fall day. Yesterday, you could have gotten a sunburn. Today, hmm, apparently there's supposed to be snow in the forecast. Oh, I hate the snow. I, as soon as the snowflake falls, my van is parked. I do not drive. And George has to drive me all over the place. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah, ugh. we've had our fireplace on now for a few days, which is wonderful. <laughs> that part I really like, you know, sitting with the you know, fireplace on and you're all cozied up in a blanket and your pajama pants and, you know, crocheting. And uh, yeah, that part of it I like. But uh, the snow part, not so much. Bailey, on the other hand, my dog, loves the snow. She will go barreling out in the backyard and she will just jump around in it. And she's already white, so you totally lose sight of her. <laughs> which is kind of scary at times, but, uh, oh yeah, she just loves it. If I can get a video of that when it snows, I will do that because it's quite funny. So anyway, um, okay. So I have just a couple things. Um, uh, this for one thing, I just finished it. Uh, if you saw my picture on my Facebook page and my Instagram, I had just started it. It's a, obviously a cowl. I've got three wood buttons, black wood buttons on them. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I did the twisted, uh, what do they call it? The twisted tassel or whatever. I've never done them before. And I thought, I'm going to try it. I'm still not sold on the look of the tassel. Don't know. But I'll show it to you here. It's kind of... um like a 3D kind of stitch. That's actually, I think that's upside down. Mm, yeah, it's upside down. So it's really fun to do. Uh, I will leave a link to the video down below of the actual stitch. Um, this cowl is my own design, but I used the fluffy fluffy stitch whatever the heck it's called <laughs> so and then I got these black buttons toggle buttons on Etsy and I've got the brown buttons as well but yeah so I thought it looked pretty good on that so yeah so there you have it like I say I'm not still not totally sold on um, the tassel but I try, I just put it on there and tried it out to see if I could actually do it. Elephant in the room, my hair. <laughs> I decided to straighten my hair today to see how actually how long it is. Because when it's curly, like my natural curls, you don't really get to see. Because I was in the shower today. Usually I take a bath to soak and let my back relax so I can get on with my day. But today I just wanted to have a quick shower and get on with my day. Uh, so I was washing my hair and I felt I could feel it way down my back. And I thought, wow, well, how long is my hair? So I decided to, um, to straighten it to see. And it's getting pretty long considering, you know, a year ago when I started my channel, well, over a year now, um it was like up here <laughs> so i you know i i i mean i've had it cut several times since then so if i hadn't cut it it would have probably been down to my butt so but yeah i'm i'm quite uh quite impressed with how long it is so i'm really happy with it <laughs> so is george most men are when you have long hair <laughs> um what else? I went to Fabricland 
I don't know if you guys have a fabric land down in the States. I don't know if it's just a Canadian thing or not. But it's our, our fabric store. And they actually, they closed their store for, oh, geez, it must be at least a year. Uh, the lease was up in the place that they were in and they couldn't find anywhere else. And then COVID hit and all that kind of stuff, right? So we had nowhere to buy fabric. Not that I'm a sewer, but I'm just saying, you know, there was nowhere to buy fabric. And then Michael started carrying fabric just after fabric land closed. So there was a little bit of fabric, but then they didn't really stock their shelves. It took them a long time to get what they've got, you know, and the, the what they had wasn't all that great. So, um, so anyways, the fabric land just opened again and I thought I'm going to go in there and check it out because a lot of times they have yarn. It's a little more pricey, but, um, I was told through one of my um, members in my Facebook group that there was a 50% off sale. Cha ching Okay, so off I go. And I went in there and sure enough, they had yarn and it was 50% off. The yarn wasn't wonderful. It's not their usual stuff that they had before. Uh, they brought in something new. Now, I don't know if these are specific for Fabricland or if they're not, but um, it's called spindle yarns. I've never heard of it before, but there was only a couple there that I absolutely had to have. I never would have paid this much for them if it wasn't 50% off. There's no way. Uh, so this is the bul bulky basic. It's 100% acrylic. And look, of course, it's my color. It's darker than that. It's like that color. Actually, it's even darker than that. But you guys all know that I, I love this color. This is my, my jam right here. So I had to get it. And it is... Um, it's a bulky five. Uh, yeah, it's a bulky five. But regular, it's eleven ninety nine. Uh uh, no way. So it's a good thing I got it for half off. You know, even half off was a bit much. Um, but. I had to have this color. I really did. So I got, how many of these did I get? I got two of them. I might go back for more. I'm not sure. This is the first one I saw and I had to have it. I had to. It's a, it's Spindle Yarns Melange. Now, how do you say it? Melange or Melange? I don't know. But anyways, 100% acrylic again. And look at that. Again, it's not showing up like true to color like that. That's the color. But look at it. It's and it's shiny and silky. Oh, is it silky? But again, 12.79 for this little ball. Mm -mm. And again, half off, still expensive. <sighs> but it's my color. So I just had to have it. So I bought four of these. Um, I'm seeing a cowl and hat set in their future, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so... I'm going to, I'll keep going back periodically and seeing what they have. But I saw some fabric that I thought about getting and sending it to Billy to see if she could make me um, a couple of bags out of it. And it's um, Canadian fabric. It's got the Canada flag on it. There's one that has a Canada flag in plaid. 
And then the other one is um, all things Canadian, the Canadian beaver, the word A, um, you know, like just all this stuff that's Canadian. It was all in words. And I just thought, oh my God, that is so cool. But uh, I, I'm still thinking about it. I'm still thinking about it. But um, yeah, so anyways, that's that. Um, I, last year, I saw a few people that were doing Christmas, um, the tw 25 days of Christmas swap. And because I was such a new channel, I guess, you know, not a lot of people knew about me. I never got asked to do one. Uh, I just found out watching Heather the Crochet Witch um, that there's a Halloween one too. I had no clue, right? So that one's the 13 days of Halloween. I didn't know that. If I had known that, I would have tagged somebody. <laughs> I would have been like, you and I are going to do this. Uh, so anyways, I thought I'd jump early and invite a couple of people a couple of YouTubers to do the 25 days of Christmas with me. I'm not going to tell you who they are yet. You're going to have to wait. But I started doing my Christmas shopping for them already. <laughs> so, you know, um, we're, we're so excited about it. We just jumped on it. And uh, so I, I went to Michael's and I went to Walmart and I went to some especially gift shops and I went to like I just started going like oh this oh this oh this oh this <laughs> so so I've got a couple of boxes over here uh, that are getting filled up with all the 25 days of Christmas and there's one person that I am um that I I'm I have chosen that is going to be a surprise 25 days of Christmas. So they have no clue. I'm going to be their secret Santa. <laughs> so you have to stay tuned for that. <laughs> Let's get through Halloween first. Um, yeah, so that's fun. What else? I, oh, have you been watching Heather the Crochet Witch is, um, Halloween specials the jokes that she tells I mean they're dad jokes but pertaining to Halloween and funny I mean I think they're funny some people may not think they're funny but I guess I have the same kind of sense of humor as Heather because I just I laugh so hard um it's, it's so funny if you have never seen her you must go, I'll leave her link down below. You've got to go and, and um, subscribe to her channel because she's a hoot. She just hit a thousand subscribers. Yay! Yay, Heather. I am so happy for you. You know, you should have hit that a while ago, but I'm just glad you made it. You know, it's, it's, you're in the thousand club. Yay! <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so now I guess we're all chasing, um, Charmed Grammy Crochet, who's in the 2000 Club. So we, we're chasing her. Yes, we are. We're trying to get to that 2000 subscribers. Uh, yeah, but there's not much else to say, I don't think. Um, hmm. I'm watching a, a bunch of videos. Oh, I watched Seta's video this morning. <gasps> Oh, her tooth fiasco just brought up some major images for me. I, oh, go watch her video. She went to the dentist and it was just, oh, the dentist made his money that day. I just, oh, I feel so bad for Seta. She's so, she's in so much pain. Oh, just breaks my heart. But, uh, you know, she got a shot that made her feel like she can't breathe and, and she can't swallow. I remember when I went and got my scope done, uh, I got a scope, the camera put down my throat to check out my stomach for my acid reflux and everything. And they gave me a shot that did the exact same thing. And I'll tell you, that is the scariest freaking feeling I've ever felt. 
I felt like I felt like I was dying. I was suffocating. It was scary. Um, they kept telling me, don't worry. I, I, felt, I told them, I said, I can't breathe. And they says, don't worry, you are breathing. You're bre if you can talk, you're breathing. Um, she says, you can't feel it, but you're breathing. And I started having a panic attack and they had to knock me out because it was just, it was horrible. You can't feel anything, nothing. And so it's the grossest feeling of all of a sudden you're like, you know, but you're actually, you are breathing and, but you feel like it's all closed off. Oh, scary, scary. So said I get better. <laughs> I just, oh, uh, you know, I just, I wish I could just take my hands and put them on your cheeks and just take your pain away. Just suck all the pain out for you because you must be hurting so much with all of that that went on. Oh, mm. so I love you. Mm. <laughs> Um, what else? Um, Fiber Fox Studios. She's doing the 25, or, uh, 13 days of Halloween with Heather, the crochet witch. Um, so if you haven't checked out her videos, I'll leave that link down below too. They've got this little question and answer thing going on. And um, it, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> But Heather's doing like these trivia questions about Halloween, which are really interesting because there's a lot of that I didn't know. I was like all about the movies and uh, the different things behind the scenes of the movies. And uh, oh God, it, it's really cool. But uh, yeah, Fiber Fox Studios. She's such a, she's so adorable. I just love her. Her laugh is infectious. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I don't know. Um, I, yeah, I go, I don't comment on a lot of videos because I've just got so many to go through. Um, and I keep missing Sandy from Left is Right Crochets Live. I, I got it this week though. I actually was part of it. So I, but I was cooking dinner at the same time. So uh, I, I was listening to it as I was doing my own thing. Right. And I always miss Rosalie's live and I have to go back and watch it. And, you know, so I don't comment on everybody's videos, but just know that I am watching them. Um, you know, I, I comment on, on what I can. Um, and yeah, so I've got to get better at doing that and commenting and letting everybody know that I'm, I am watching them. So, yeah, uh, anything else? I don't think so. Um, if there is, I'll put it in the next, a little clip here. Um, uh, I do have a Hirschness order coming soon. I just ordered that a couple days ago, so it should be here next week. Not a very big order, but, you know, just a few things that I saw that were on sale and, you know. Um, also, <laughs> I had a bit of a fiasco with Amazon. I ordered George, um, his gift, George's birthday is on November 12th, and he's turning the big 6-0. Yeah. And I can't do a big party or anything like that because of COVID. So, yeah, I think I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do for him. I'll take him out for dinner somewhere. But, um, yeah, I think it's just going to kind of be a low-key birthday, which really sucks because it's such a milestone birthday. Ugh, you know, I feel so bad. But what are you going to do, right? Uh, but anyways, I, I ordered something for him from Amazon. I was really excited about it and it got here and it was the wrong one. So I was choked and I called Amazon. I actually got through on the phone, which is amazing in itself. And I told them, I says, you know, this isn't the right one. Uh, the one I ordered was this much money and this one's this much money and it's totally different and 
Um, so they says, oh, no problem. Just what we'll do is we'll refund you the money and then you just reorder it. Okay, I can do that. And so what do I do with the one I've got? Oh, just keep it. Wow, really? Okay. <laughs> so I guess he's getting two gifts. Maybe I'll have one for his birthday and one for, or I would actually, I've, I've decided I'm going to um, give them both to him for Christmas instead of his birthday, because there was something that he wanted that I've been looking for for the last couple of weeks, but I know nothing about it. So I ended up um, having him uh, check it out. But it's a uh, an upholstery tool for his machine. And I know nothing about that stuff, right? I don't even know where he buys his stuff or, you know, so he went online and he picked one out. And so I'm just going to pay for it. And that will be his birthday gift. <laughs> yeah, surprise. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, that's just the way it is with him and I, though, because he doesn't know what I want at Christmas and I don't know what he wants at Christmas. I'm a lot better at going and buying stuff and surprising him or at least giving him, you know, something that he has no idea. Most of the stuff I buy him, he has no idea what it is. But for me, I have to write out a list and then he just goes and buys it. So I know everything I'm getting. He usually does one gift that I have no idea what it is. And that one really scares me. <laughs> so, <laughs> but he's so far, he's done pretty good. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of the way our Christmas goes. <laughs> this year is going to be a little different because I'm not doing craft fairs. I do a lot of shopping at my craft fairs. Um, so that's going to be different. And also the cash flow is not coming in that was when I do craft fairs. So I have to be, I have to get creative. <laughs> so yeah. So, but anyways, uh, yeah, so I guess, guess that's everything. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of stuck on, I'm making Ashley, my daughter Ashley's Christmas gift right now. Um, then I've got to make something for Tia, which I don't know what I'm going to make. And then I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I don't, I'm kind of losing, I'm not losing my Crojo. My problem is, is that I've done a lot of stuff and I, I'm kind of getting bored. Um, so if you guys have any ideas or any links to videos or anything like that, let me know, you know, cause, um, yeah, I've just, I don't know. I've done cowls. I've done sweaters. I've done blankets. I've done, uh, headbands. I've done lots of stuff. I don't like doing amigurumi. I bad at it. Um, you know, I, I'm not a big dishcloth person. Like I, I don't make dishcloths, although those are really quick and easy, but I usually gear everything I make towards the craft fair and what I can sell. And there's a lot of people that make dishcloths and stuff like that. So, and the towel toppers and all that. So I kind of stay away from it. Um, so yeah, now I just, I don't know what to make. Don't know. So if you have any ideas, let me know because uh, I could use the help. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm just touching base. Um, uh, I'll do this periodically every couple of days just to keep up with you. And hopefully it's not too boring for you. <laughs> okay. So um, I will talk to you guys later. I love you bits. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye.